G'day fellas, and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the west side of the map, playing in the color blue as the Ottomans. We've got a man by the name of Baboon. Well, maybe we probably shouldn't call him a man. He's a monkey. He's an ape. <laughs> I'm thinking about that Simpsons episodes. Uh, the, the Simpsons episode with the... Uh, is it Troy McClure? And he's singing and he's like... Oh, I was wrong. It was Earth all along. <laughs> you finally made a monkey. Uh, Planet of the Apes. Anyway, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Aussie Drongo. And this is Recon. <laughs> spawning in over on the west side of the map. On the east side of the map. A bit of an interesting name. Name is I Quit Marlians. Playing as the French. Uh, in the color orange. Now, of course, with an interesting name comes an interesting story. And an interesting story comes an interesting character. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Don Hardy. He's back once again. New name. Ooh, same account, new name. Uh, ex excuse my voice there. You may have heard. It's, it sounds a little bit different. Uh, and it is because I've just recently woken up. Uh, I think at the moment it's 10 o'clock in the morning for me. I got a nice little sleep in today. Uh, fortunately, the uh, the little guy was quiet. I, <laughs> I actually woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I had a finger in my mouth. And I'm like, uh, this finger shouldn't be here. Anyway, it was the little guy. He's putting his finger in, his, in my mouth. Uh, and for anybody wondering, we do not we do not co-sleep. Uh, he, had, he had woken up and I'd, I'd fallen asleep. Uh, and uh, the missus had brought him over. And uh, gave, gave me a little bit of a morning uh, <laughs> morning slap in the face. But uh, we do see an early backs coming down uh, in this uh, in this game. And this is, I think it, what's important to mention is this is this is another one of those matchups, right? Like we've seen Don Artie do this before. I remember a game that he played. I think it was the Holy Roman Empire against a French player. And he's just like, well, I've, I've got to do something different, right? And we see the exact same thing coming out here once again. Uh, this matchup is not the best matchup for the French. And to explain why, as the French, you want to be going School of Cavalry. School of Cavalry, as the name suggests, makes cavalry. You're making cavalry. You've got the stable. It, it's it's a natural thing that you do as the French. Why is that a problem? Well, it's a problem because over on the other side of the map, the Ottomans want to make a military school. And they can do that in the Dark Age. And the only unit they've got available to them is the Spearman. Hence the issue, because the spearmen count as cavalry. So it's one of those natural things that uh, that just occur through the mechanics of the game, the mechanics of it that uh, that make the, the civilization matchup unfavorable, at least in the early game uh, for the French, because that is when a large window of theirs does occur. Uh, but we do see the three spears moving out. And I love Don playing around this, because we've seen Don do Dark Age things before. He's quite a big fan of doing the Dark Age things. It's a, it's a bit of a mix-up. Puts the enemy on the back foot. But we do see this does get scouted out here by Recon. Scout moving across the map. Now, this is a simple response from Recon, but you can see he's actually going to throw more Vils out here. And this is a large amount of Vils. This makes me think, okay, this isn't just to... This isn't just to, um... To age up. This is also to get his double Broadaxe. And there, <laughs> there he goes, just... <laughs> that was unnecessary. Uh, I mean, these spears are coming in, and obviously you want to avoid any harassment, so maybe it wasn't unnecessary. It just it just did seem like a lot of villagers going and uh, and, and gathering that gold right there. But who am, I to, who, who am I to judge Recon? Recon, obviously, one of the best players. Thank you, Recon. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, who am I to judge Recon? Recon, don't make me judge you. Two things in a row and I'm judging Recon. He loses a scout to a town center at three minutes and 40 seconds. Then he put his twin minaret madressa right here. He fixed it. He fixed it. This was a terrible spot for a, a twin minaret madressa. So good job to him for fixing that up, recognizing that. I think it's yeah, there's a bit of a, a tile gap in between there. Uh, not an issue at all. Uh, but <laughs> that was very funny. Ju not judging. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not judging Recon at all, except I'm totally judging you, Recon. And take a look at this. This we got more more spearmen coming out. At this point in the game, Don's not even close to aging up. He's obviously got all the gold that he needs to age up. Uh, but his primary focus here is just on being aggressive. I mean, I feel like I'm a high school cheerle cheerleader right now for Don. Saying be aggressive, be -e aggressive. Uh, but uh, spearmen on the way. And remember that we've also got those villagers coming up the rear with the gear. Uh, so expect to see an outpost. And look at this position. This is an amazing outpost position here for Don. It's going to deny gold. It's going to deny stone. So now this question is, where is the secondary stone? Where's the secondary gold? Second closest gold stone. Third closest gold. Third closest stone. Where is the gold? He's going to have to head all the way to the other side of the map. There's a double over here. But of course, that's easily looked after. And beautiful little deer spot over here. It's always nice when the two deer spawn next to each other like that. And there's the first of the outposts coming down. So it looks like he's not going to go for that that middle outpost. He can always use this to leapfrog. Two vills coming through. Looking to roleplay the French as the Mongols. Something we don't often see. 
Still yet to get to click up on that age up. And I, at this point, I'm starting to think, is it likely that Don actually goes for the Chamber of Commerce? This isn't the best Chamber of Commerce. In fact, this is the worst Chamber of Commerce trade that you could possibly have because it's so far forward. So it means that there's so much more space you need to defend. Imagine right now that these trade posts are in the corner. Any, any kind of normal map has this trade post in the corner. Well, now you've only got to defend this part of the map. But now all of a sudden, because this trade post is up here, you've got to draw a wall all the way across there and make it come across. And it's going to be, going to be School of Cavalry. Never mind me. I sometimes get ahead of myself. I get excited. Uh, but, uh, I mean, we, we've seen French trade be quite strong. And I, I think, interestingly, we've almost got someone looking out for French trade. I mean, obviously, you know, not, not looking for it just yet. He's going to be still in the Dark Age. But he's got the scout perfectly positioned there for any prospect of trade. We do see Don now returning back over to gold, so could be looking for double broad axe, but it's probably just knights that he's looking for. And he's managed to secure up that outpost. Second outpost going to be coming down on the stone here. And uh, nice attempt here by uh, by Recon to throw down. It's, it's not going to happen, Recon. You've got, you got to cancel that bad boy. That's just, that's just going to be annoying you for the next seven minutes when you try and put that bad boy up. You want to cancel that. We can see, speaking of cancel, outpost does get canceled. First Vizier point going to be coming through. What does he look to go for? He's going to go Anatolian Hills. And I'm loving this. I'm loving this at the moment. All three Vizier points are, are balanced now. Obviously, we, we see meta drums coming out a little bit more often, but still, even I think that's only people that are anchoring towards meta drums. I genuinely think, like, it, it's crazy when you think about the level that the devs are on with their balance. Because a lot of people looked at, at you know, at, at the other two options when meta drums, when Ottomans came out, and they're like, nah, meta drums is so busted, bro. We're always going to take it. And then people... Oh, sorry. Um, uh, Anatolian Hills are so busted. We're always going to take it. And then it was like, well, no, we're not actually always going to take it because we're going to start taking meta drums. And then people were like, wait, I can fast castle and I can get the imams. And so it was just like this this insane evolution. Not insane evolution, but this evolution that happened with the Vizier point. And they, the devs didn't even have to touch anything. That's, that's what I think is so impressive. Uh, and we still do see all Vizier points used at the moment. Literally every single Vizier point uh, is, is viable. I think the least viable one... See, even Genissary Company, which is a bit more all-in, is still viable with some strategy. So it's like, you can't even write that off. It's it's just, it's incredible how well they did with those Vizier points. Not a single one over underpowered. Obviously, when it comes to landmarks, that's a different fact or a different story. Uh, obviously, the uh, the landmark overhaul is due to come through soon. And look, we got a proxy barracks or pro proxy uh, archery range coming down here for Don. Not something that you always see, proxy buildings. In fact, something that's very rare in Age of Empires 4. We don't really see a lot of proxies. Uh, in, in Age of Empires 3, I remember seeing so many proxies. Oh my lord. There'd be proxies after proxies after proxies. Uh, but in Age of Empires 4, it's very rare. And I think largely because of the, the role of landmarks and the inability to really attack the enemy and do damage because of the town center. Uh, but we do see, at this point, a little bit of a raid coming in from Recon. I don't know why his name's Baboon. I, I, I saw that they were playing free-for-alls and everyone's name was Baboon. So maybe it was like, you must create, a f you, you must, your name must be Baboon if you want to play in this free-for-all. I think that's it. Uh, but we do see he was tracking these uh, the, these units and he's moved everything away. Uh, was looking for a potential second town center. No, probably just arrows. So Don Arty is not the type of guy to go for a second town center. Uh, um, unless he's playing serious. But I mean, he, he's, he's rushing in the Dark Ages, the French. And now we've got the consequence of our actions finally revealing itself as the archers march two by two to the uh, to the other side of the map except he's built the, the the archery rangers in the enemy base and now he's got to bring the archers back to his base it's an awkward it's an awkward circumstance but maybe this is also just to, to try and hide it obviously he knows that there's that that uh scout behind the enemy base so maybe he's looking to hide uh what he is uh, what he's doing but we've got ourselves a villager pool a couple of units here as well now keep in mind reinforcements are going to be here he's got vills to repair up if he needs to i don't know whether he's got the uh the upgrade but damage gonna be coming down looking to try and escape on this south side don might be routing all of his units back up towards his position vills do get chased away uh interestingly not focusing down the villagers here okay th there we go now focusing down the villagers thank you very much uh villagers obviously very high to high uh high priority targets but it looks like down on the south side he is gonna get caught so even though don's gonna lose those spears and Recon's going to lose a few vills. He does get caught. Recon's going to try and make a, a loop around here. And we can see that his units are going to be coming down, looking to connect. Nice little combo he's running as well. Spear Archer combo. Very, very nice. Avoiding any kind of Spahi. Obviously, Spahi is nice, but it's uh, it's one of those things that makes it a bit more difficult uh, in, in your game to control. More spears coming through on that top side. 
finally the spear's going to be joining the action. Now those knights are going to be coming in. There's actually a couple of sheep back here as well that are going to get picked up. Nice job skewering the first of the, the knights. And now the question is, where do we go from here? Because we've kind of entered this lull in the game where things have gone a little bit crazy, but they're starting to stabilize. He says as all of the units begin converging on each other. That's a lot of units right there. And I think Donati is probably going to have to fall back away from this position. There's probably too many spears here. First of the knights goes down. And indeed, he does fall back, realizing that uh, it, it's probably just too many. So at, at this point, he's in a bit of a dilly of a pickle, right? Because his production is now on the front line and he doesn't have the unit mass to deal with it. Or does he? Eh, he still probably doesn't at this point. There's, that's a lot of spears. A well, lo lot of archers, actually. Have we got any upgrades coming through? Doesn't look like it. Double Broadaxe Wheelbarrow on the way uh, for Don Artie, but nothing milita military at the moment. First of the Spahi is out as well. Don's numbers slowly building. We're going to play on the bottom side here. Gets a nice little charge in on the Spahi. He's going to force him back, so does a decent job. Obviously, you gotta, you, you're playing heavily with the APM. Blacksmith does come up. Bloomery going to be coming through for him. A little bit more damage on those knights. But I, I, oh my lord. I, I was going to say, I think the question is, where do you go from here? You know, as the, as the Ottomans. And I think as the Ottomans, it, it's very much that you... Uh, in, in this matchup, you can't really take... Uh, or you can't really take the lead. If you think about dancers, right? You've got like someone who leads, someone f who follows. Uh, if, if you've ever done dancing before, you, you'll know that. Um, and so... When, when you're dancing with somebody and you take the lead right now, the French is the lead. They are the ones, they say, all right, if I'm making units, you're making units. And if the French drops down a second TC, then guess what, Ottomans, you're dropping down a second TC. That's the kind of thing. And it, it's not until you start getting into like the 15, 16 minute mark where you've survived, you've gone even, maybe you win a big fight. That's when all of a sudden you can take the lead and you can say, you know what, actually, I'm going to go for a second town center or I'm going to go for an age up, that kind of thing. Uh, but normally you, you would you would be very... It would be a very difficult matchup uh, if, if that weren't the case because you would be always risking a, a potential all-in with those knights. And once those knights get in, if you can't deal with them, well, you guys know where Trouble Town is. You know who's a member of it. It's that guy who doesn't allow the, the French player to have that, that early power that they're so used to doing or so used to having. Now, we do actually see quite a fair bit of stone stacked up at the moment for our Ottoman player. So much so that he could be going for a second TC here. Yet to drop it down. I'm loving the, the production, the way that he's got it all, all out around here. Not the most efficient use of space, but still pretty nice. Spahi going to be coming through. Knights looking to try and uh, run a bit of a screen, but the, still the numbers here are very decent uh, for, uh, for, for recon. Looking to try and focus down those spears. That's what he's doing here. You can see Knights have got to come in, run the screen, and the spear numbers have dwindled. So as long as the spears are taken out, then the Knights should be able to do their job. And that's what they're going to be doing. They move to the front line. One more spear remains. Looking to try and focus down that spearman. It's so hard to, for him to get in there. But there it goes. Spearman finally down. And now the knights should be able to wreck the havoc. More archers coming in. And there's the knights. Look at that. Beautiful micro coming out from Don Artie. He knows exactly what he needs to do. It's all about taking out those spears. And now you see the power of the French. The knight superiority is what does it. Beautiful micro right there from Don. I, I, I think what you know th that is just so classically uh, lovely to see from Don. Because it was... Textbook. Absolutely textbook. Peeking off those spearmen. Once the, the, the last spearman has fallen, all the knights are in. And it is just, you know, the, the jig's up, basically. So very nice victory right there. Or very nice... Uh, what's a way to say, say, like, a small victory? I mean, very nice small victory there. Uh, n nice, little, nice little battle right there from Don. He takes a great trade. Uh, and that puts him in a really good position. And, and so now in this position right here, if, if you're playing as the Ottomans, this is probably not a position you'd want to throw down a second TC. You could throw down a second TC, but it would be a bit dangerous, right? Because what if the French player just commits to making 100% units, starts thinking about a battering ram, and now they've taken a good fight, and you're investing more resources into your economy and not into your military. And so they're going all in on their military, and you're not, and then all of a sudden, there's your second town center, and we might have a little bit of pressure. And I think the question is going to be, how does Recon actually uh, how does Recon actually defend against this with a second TC up? He's, he's going to need to... He's going to need to lift. Now, Don might not recognize this, but he should be able to feel out the tempo. He should be able to feel out the, uh, the damage from his enemy. I want to have a look at production back in Don's base, though. Because at the moment, he's really not running a lot of production. At least that's the way it seems. Oh, he's doing trade. Oh, Don's doing trade. Oh, never mind. Don's going for trade. 
Uh, but it's that classic mid-map trade, isn't it? You know, the one that we were talking about. So this is the kind of trade that's just like... Eh. It, it, like, he literally needs to main control, ma maintain control of half of the map right now for his trade to work. And, I mean, as Recon... He, he's let's just put it this way his scouting intelligence isn't the best his reconnaissance isn't the best at this point he's kind of locked in his base he's doing his own thing and, and to be honest th like th this wh what he's doing is playing into don's hand because don's going for a much bigger boom the problem is don's boom is not a safe boom that's the problem now he's going for he's going for a a, a pretty big boom here e even just maintaining 100 percent uptime on a, on a market uh you're gonna get a great return but the, the issue that we've got here is that uh, the Don is incredibly open on the trade. If, as I mentioned before, if this was backside trade, you, you'd be in a really good spot. Spahi actually looking to try and come out. Knights can defend here. Has he added a scout? He's added in a scout as well. Very very well done there by Recon. Uh, Going to add in the scout. And now Don looking to put on the pressure. And this is the right choice. He wants to try and keep these units away from his trade. So either he can go and be aggressive and try and intercept them. Or he can be... Uh, I, I should probably take that back. Instead of being aggressive, um, he can he can look to, to come and turn the attention over here. So basically, they're the two options. And as you can see, trade gets immediately picked up. It's in the middle of the map. Uh, and as a result, Don's trade is now in trouble. And that's actually going to force Don to fall back. Which I'm, I'm tempted to say is... Un unfortunate for Don. Let let's just put it that way because th this, I mean, in a, in a perfect world, this shouldn't be happening. And I think this is what frustrates me a lot about the way that trading posts spawn. And behind this, I mean, you can see that the the amount of of time that's been bought by a single counter attack onto trade means that Don is now still attacking, but we do see an age up coming through. Don's obviously investing a lot of resources into his trade triple stable also getting thrown down so th this is this is a great read here uh by our ottoman player because now he said okay triple stable i wonder what you're making with the triple stable could it possibly be knights so that's basically saying okay you know for 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 recon at this point that scout has just paid in incredible dividends because now it means that he can just go okay ottomans i'm gonna make genissaries i'm gonna make spears maybe mix in a few crossbows and i'm gonna have a great time but we can see that at the moment Don's attack is a bit is falling apart, right? Like this isn't a this isn't a cohesive attack. This isn't a solid push. There's no battering ramps. Obviously, the cavalry here isn't uh, isn't looking to defend. So it, it makes it very difficult for Don to actually do meaningful damage here. And he does he does fall back away from this position. But Recon's playing it very well. The two TC in, into the uh, into the MIA. So hits that castle age. But the other thing is that it, it makes it very hard to wall up when you've got trade in the middle of the map. Because now not only... Uh, does he just give up on the trade? He, he doesn't give up on it completely. He's still, he's still got the traders going. But the, the tempo is just unfortunate because there's going to be such a huge loss. And I think... Is, is Recon just... He's looking down, yeah, directly to this bottom side. That's where he thinks it could be. But a little bit of a mistiming potentially as Don is actually committing to a big attack. We see Royal Institute coming in behind this. Don breaking the cardinal rule of never attacking when you're aging up because you could be looking at veterancy upgrades. But going to be focusing down that outpost. Obviously knows his enemies in the castle age. There could be a sprinkled emplacement coming through any second and takes it out. Don quitting versus the Marlians, but not against the Ottomans. That is for sure. Spahi, not really up to much. Just still looking for those traders. Maybe maybe that's the silver lining in the uh, in the mid-map traders, that if your enemy doesn't scout any traders because they didn't have a scout with them, they're like, hmm, where are those traders? What's going on? Did he delete his trade? Where was he trading to? What the hell? And it's like, ah, I fooled you, my friend. The trade was in the middle of the map because it was a terrible spawn. But even then, Royal Institute now. Don lacking a little bit of... There, there's the... He's got the resources... I tell you what, I'd be very tempted to cancel Wedge Rivets and get get that uh, Royal Bloodline tech. It's going to make all the difference here. Up to 16 Royal Knights right now. And look at the Spahi. Spahi going to just be turning their attention to the stable, trying to draw Don back. And that's exactly what he's going to do here. But remember, even if you, you even if you draw Don back here, you're just going to run away because you've got faster units than, than what Don's got. So this is where it's like three Knights would be more than enough to, to deal with this. But all the Knights are going to come back and the Spahi are just going to run away. And Don falls for the bait. And once again, the Ottoman player buys himself more time. Candle Settle's going to be coming through. What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? It was like, ole, 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 something like that. I felt like I, I was listening to a soccer match. But once again, the, the, the maneuverability of units comes in very handy 
This is why movement speed is such a, an important resource. An important statistic, rather. First of the farms coming through. Maganel finally out. No veterancy coming through for our archers just yet. He's adding in quite a lot of archers, though. Springled's always going to be an option. And, and look at this. Is he, is he on food or is he on he's on gold, I think, for the moment? Income a minute at that 800. If we compare the two, it's 2,500 on the right side uh, versus about 2,000 on the left side. And now we've got a real problem because this mid-map trade is just not working. I think if, if there's one thing about maps that need to be fixed uh, for trade to be more consistent, like you guys want a consistent trade, let's, let's get consistent trade posts. Let, let's start with that one. But now we've got an overwhelming number of... Uh, of spears here. Look at the number of spears that we've got. Knights mixed in as well. It's going to be very hard for him to screen against this. And look at the same time Spahi coming over from the, the east side of the map. We're going to enter into, the, enter, enter into the cinematic mode right there. I felt like a bit of a New Zealander. I'm going to enter. I'm going to enter into the fish and chip shop and get myself some delicious six. Six. Six fish and chips. Sorry. Sorry, that was... that. that I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. You're our brethren. I shouldn't do you like that. But 66. <laughs> you guys say six so weird. And chops and fush. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I love you guys. I love you, New Zealanders. Don't, don't, don't be mad. Don't be mad. <laughs> All right. Well, at, at this point in time, I mean, military looks relatively even. The main issue that uh, the Don's going to have is this: uh, there's quite a uh, quite a few spears over on the uh, the enemy side, and he looks like he's decided to pick a fight right here. Don just going to be heading in head first. Whole bunch of archers just take a shot to the face. Uh, we don't have the knights moving around towards that backside just yet. Manganel getting off a second shot. Hits about four units there. Still got the micro coming in. A little bit of micro. But Don overwhelming his opponent right now. We see the power of the Royal Knight. I'm not 100% sure whether we've got the uh, Royal Institute in, but Don absolutely destroying Recon right there. But I can hear a counterattack happening on the other side of the map. Let's go check in with it and see what, what it's up to. And it's going to be villagers that are running away. Look, look at Recon just all over the map. He, he loses the main fight. But he's winning on the flanks. Beautiful play style from Recon. He, he's looking like a lot of an, like a bit of an Age of Empires 2 player at the moment. He's playing very well uh, and just kind of like sacrificing his own base but still doing damage to the enemy. You see his village account starting to climb as well. That second TC finally paying dividends for him. Villa look, at, look at the worker kills difference right here. Don losing 40 workers this game compared to his opponent losing 26 workers. So still quite a bit. And uh, we got some interesting villagers. Towards the north side, Don Adi, what are you doing right now? Uh, are we going for a landmark snipe? I, I, whenever I see villagers close for Don Adi, I'm like, it's going to be a landmark snipe, isn't it? I, I, I know what Don's up to. I've seen, I've seen this story a million times before. Royal Knights don't actually have their bloodline upgrade. This is an, an, a terrible oversight from Don Adi, considering the power of his Royal Knights. Looks like that he's getting cleaned up on the backside, but we've got more villagers going down. There's villagers going down absolutely everywhere. We're down 59 and 55 villagers. Don actually taking the villager lead here as he continues continues sacking his units just to take out villagers. He's looking to try and do as much damage as he can. He's taken out the house in particular. Fuck you in particular, Don Arnie says to this house. I love that he I love that he, he saw that his knights were doing that and he was still like, I've got to move them. And then he's like, actually, no, this house in particular? Yeah, fuck it. Uh, and, uh, and that's what he did. Spahi, knight, still on the backside. Patrolling, looking, looming, trying to find something to take down. Don does take the village lead. He's up by 10 now. And just got knights in the enemy base. Good to find a whole bunch more villagers here. But you've got to remember that even if you take out villagers at the end of the day, let's say we, we get rid of every single villager on this map. Remember, remember, the power of the Ottomans comes through. The true power of the Ottomans is revealed. The, the MIA, together with the military schools. Four military schools non-stop producing units. These bad boys, you can't take them out unless you kill the building. And that's what makes it so damn scary. Knights moving up towards the north, Don. He's up 20 vils at the moment. I mean, we were talking about the worker kills. Let's talk about the worker kills right now. Don going to be running for his life. Spahi and a knight, the, the same ones from before, going to get caught out in the middle of the map. And Don's gonna be, be forced away. Not gonna be going for that landmark snipe. Wouldn't be a land, wouldn't be a Don Arty game without a landmark snipe, would it? He, he, he's uh, he, he's he loves to do it. 
But Village is going to be getting out of here. Knight's not even looking to defend. Instead, going to be running into a couple spears. Definitely not the fight they want to be taking. Crossbow's now entering onto the field as well. And Vils, look at the Vils just getting in on the action. They're like, you know what, Sparky? You don't have any, have any melee armor. I'm not even interested. But now Don just throwing away. He's got villagers in the, in the midst of it as well. They've turned around and fight. Don Artie taking a bit of a crazy fight. Maybe he's just given up in, the, in this game. And he said, you know what? I don't, I don't mind if my Vils die. He's down to 38 Vils, 37 Vils. I don't think he appreciated the position he was in. He had a good villager lead. I think he was up 20 Vils right there. And he just threw it away. Obviously, he was getting chased down. It would have taken some time. But I think he was in a decent spot. He's thrown away a whole bunch of villagers. Maybe you under, underestimated his position. We hear the next Vizier point coming through. You know, the Janissary company would actually be pretty decent right here. But you know what? Don Hardy says, I'll give you decent. And the good game gets called. And now Victor is recon. Managing to take a pretty good fight. I definitely think Don didn't appreciate the power of his position in that, la that last uh, little bit. But anyways, fellas, go check him out. I'll leave links in the description of both Don, Artie, and Recon. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.